Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You, and in today's video tutorial, I'll be showcasing my uh, new widget. The it's called the Animator widget, and it's the most extensive collection of animation effects for your Adobe Muse website. So I'll just quickly show you the widget in the muse for You shop. So I'll go to museforyoushop.com and close this here. I'll click on Shop now. And it's right here uh, in the middle. It's called the animator widget, and you get 139 animation effects. So I'll click on it here. Um, here you can choose from 139 animation effects. You can actually see the different effects. There's um, I've used the animate.css library, and here you can see all the different effects you can use. And I've also used the magic.css library library, so you can see those as well. They're really great, and they just make for really awesome animations. Um, so that's it there. You can click on preview and you can see a more of a description of it here and uh, what it does and the different options. And then if we click here to widget options, it'll take us to the uh, widget options and you can see the different options you have here. Uh, it's really great. Um, I'll just go through some of it here. You can animate on start, you can animate on hover, uh, on click, and on scroll. So um, you can start the animation as soon as someone goes to the website. You can animate the uh, you, you know the image or whatever you'd like to animate when somebody hovers over it, or you can animate it when somebody clicks on it, or um, if somebody scrolls to it, you can animate it um, once it reaches the that scroll. Um, once it reaches the um, inside the website once it's viewable inside the website it'll animate and I'll show you some examples of that um, you can play the animation once or infinitely loop uh, you can fade animations in and out you can there's various fading fading options um, so you can have really smooth transitions and animations for your website and you can re repeat the animation on scroll so if somebody scrolls uh, down through all the animations and then scrolls back up and then you know uh, replays you know kind of goes through the website again the animations will replay which is really cool and you can set how far from the bottom of the browser you want the animation to play so if the uh, image or the element that you have animated goes past a certain point beyond the bottom of the browser uh, you can set that percentage of how far you want it from the bottom of the browser uh, to animate so you can have it animate like in the middle of the page or have it start immediately when the the, the element hits the bottom of the page and I'll go through that so yeah it's kind of like setting the you know where within the browser you want it to start animating as the user scrolls which is really cool um, it all allows for a lot of control over uh, your animations in your website all right so those are the widget options and yeah those are the libraries you can check out all the animations there uh, in the animate.css library and the magic.css library um, again there's 139 effects which is really amazing and you can click here to see the example site so I'll click there, and there I have uh, this example site. Um, kind of use the hipster theme for, for this web website. Um, I've included the Prism Effects slider just to show you, like, you know, what you can do with it as well. Like, you can put your logo in there and just have some branding uh, with all your images, like having your logo within the image and having this cool Prism effect going. Uh, so there's that. And then here we scroll down and we can see some of the animations from the widget. Um, they're really great animations, really like it. You know, hipster games. <clears throat> yeah, hipster games and, you know, 100% hipster. It's like everything hipster. And then here, I have it fade in. And I've used the SVG draw as well here. All right, very cool. So if I go back up and I replay the animations and I scroll back down, the animations will replay. All right, so it looks good and awesome so again there's 139 effects here that you can choose from so i'm just going to open up my adobe muse website here or adobe muse i'm going to go to file new site i'm going to click ok i'm going to double click here and i'll just show you a quick example of the widget uh, so i'm going to insert an image um, i'll insert this line here very nice and to animate this line um, i simply go to library and I go to the Muse for You, the animator widget, and I'll click on the animator initial. So for any uh, element that you initially an initially animate, like the first element that you can that you want to an excuse me animate, you select the the animator initial, and then any ones after that you select additional. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag the uh, the animator initial, and there it is. And so I have it here. And to animate this image of the lion, I simply click on it. 
um, and then I click well first I'll open the widget so you can see the graphic style name is called animate one and you can actually change this to anything you'd like uh, but I'll just leave it on animate one then I'll click on the lion and I'll click on graphic styles and then here we have this kind of icon that looks like a piece of paper and if I leave my mouse over it it says uh, create a new style from the attributes applied so I'm going to click on that I'm going to double click on style to change the name and I'm going to call it animate one so now this image of the lion has the graphics property or the graphic style name uh, animate one which coincides and corresponds yes excuse me, uh, yeah corresponds with uh, the widget so it's called animate one and we've added the graphic style name animate one to the image of the lion so then here where it says select animation this is where we have the options uh, the option to select from 139 different animations. So I'm going to be using some of the magic.css animations and I'll show you some animate.css animations as well. So let's try the boring out down. Let's try that. Um, and we can change the duration of the animation simply by saying, let's say we want it to be like 5,000, which is five seconds because it's in milliseconds. So 5,000 equals five seconds. We don't want it to infinitely, infinitely loop. Uh, we want to start the select so like animation start. We want it to have it on start. So as soon as the user goes to the website, we want it to animate on start. And we're not going to do any fading with it. We're just going to leave that as it is. All right. So let's move this up here to the top. And now if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, <laughs> that's cool. It has that really cool animation there. I'm really, um, yeah, I really like these these effects. I mean, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with them. Uh, they're just really interesting. So let's try another one. And let's try uh, doing one second and see how that looks. So I'll hit Command Shift E and it's pretty quick. Um, so let's try another one, uh, Foolish N. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and let's do five, th five seconds. Uh, one second seems a little bit too quick. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I like that one. Very nice. You could really have a, a really cool impact, like a great impact uh, for your users when they go to your website with, you know, with these effects. It's just really awesome. Uh, let's try swap. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Nice. Kind of just comes in like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it just kind of comes in. Oops. Let's try that one more time so you can see it. There it is. All right, looks cool. Nice, and we'll do one more um, from the magic.css. The magic are a little bit lower in the list. First, yeah, first we have the animate.css animations, and then if you scroll down, you get more, <coughs> excuse me, into the magic.css uh, animations. Let's try the puffin. That might look pretty cool. I think it's the, oh, actually, no, it looks great. I was going to say that the five seconds might, might have made it look a little bit strange, but it looks great. So let's do uh, three seconds. And I'll hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. And awesome. Looks really good. All right. So that's um, the the effects. You know, you have so many effects to choose from. And I'll do an animate uh, CSS effect. Or they're all in here, so you can just choose from them. Let's do um, ta-da. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, you're just kind of messing with the animations there. Um, and one more. I'll do one from the top of the list. Um, let's do... Uh, we'll just do flash here. That'll be cool. So it just kind of flashes. So you can see like how how many effects you can add to this widget. There's 139. Um, excuse me to this uh, to any Adobe Muse element. You can add these effects. Uh, you can add it to text, images, um, anything in Adobe Muse. It's pretty amazing. Um, so I'm going to do one more image. Uh, so let's do. Uh, here, let's do like this one hipster blog or uh, yeah, we'll do hip, hipster blog. Now, let me do uh, hipster style here. I like this one. All right, cool. So we have hipster style here. Now, this is my second element. So I'm going to include the um, the animator additional instead of the initial. So I'm going to uh, click, hold and drag the animator additional. And now we have uh, the animator additional here. And we can see that the graphic style name is animate2. So we want to give this graphic style name to uh, this image here, um, to this hipster image. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big there. So let's do like uh, 300. And we'll constrain proportions. 
there, 300. And we'll do uh, 300 for this as well. All right, so that's that's a bit better. It's not as big. All right, so now I'm gonna click on this image. I'm gonna go to graphic styles, and I'm gonna click on this paper here to create a new graphic style. And I'm gonna call this animate to. All right, very nice. And what I wanna do with this animation, I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower. And I'm going to uh, select animation start. I'm gonna say on scroll. I can do on scroll, on scroll fade in, on scroll fade out, on scroll fade in out, and on scroll fade repeat. So I'm gonna do on scroll. And I want it to uh, space, space in right. Let's try that. And the duration I'm gonna set to three seconds. So I enter in 3000. And I think that's it. And if you have more, like a lot of images that you're animating, uh, you do want to change the instance name so that each animation has its own set of options. Uh, if you don't set the instance name, you might find that some of the images have the same, let's say, uh, duration. If you let's say you want one image to be two seconds and another one to be five seconds. Um, and if you don't change the instance name, you might find that they both have the same uh, duration. So by giving, giving it an, a unique instance name, uh, you'll make sure that each of those uh, animations for those different elements have have those different options that you've selected for it. Um, so let's see what this looks like. Um, I've just changed all the options there. And I've given this the graphic style name animate to. So I'm going to hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. We have the animation there. Now if I scroll down, we can see that it animates when I scroll down. And you can see there was a little bit of a delay. And to change that, uh, we just go to the widget. And instead of on scroll offset from top percentage, instead of saying 70, we'll say 100. And then as soon as that image hits the bottom of the browser, it's going to animate. So you don't have that kind of delay effect that just happened, um, where it kind of went up and then like went out and then came back in if you know if you saw that in the, in the video. So here we go. And there we go. It doesn't there's no delay, it just looks like the animation's coming in and then it animates right away. And just to show you what it was like before, um, let's set it back to 70 and I'll hit Command Shift E and we'll just scroll down. You see there was kind of like, you saw the image and then it had the animation. So I was gonna set the default to 100, but I'll let you play with it. Um, I prefer to use 100, it's just, it just looks really good because it immediately starts. All right, and there we go. So there it comes in and I'm going to change the animation from on this line from pulse to or from flash to like um, yeah we'll do the foolish and I kind of like that one all right so we change that animation and um, and I'll play with the line here and I'll do some more options from the widget um, we can select animation start on hover so let's see what that looks like so I'll hit command shift E okay some of these effects because of the way they're designed uh, some of them don't don't work great with some of the options, but that's because the effect already has enough animation to it. So some of the options mm, don't quite uh, correspond. It doesn't happen with a lot of them, but you can play around with them and, and just see how, how that is, how that works for you. So um, I'll do shake here for the lion on hover. I'll hit command shift E and we can see that the lion shakes there. Yeah, with the magic.css animations, there's a lot of fading in, fading out. So you might find that like if you try to hover over one of those animations, you'll just get kind of like a glitchy effect because the animation is already trying to do so much. And that's why like, I mean, the magic.css is a very kind of extensive set of animations and the way they're built, um, they're just like really interesting. Um, and because they're so interesting, you might find that, yeah, some of like the hover, if, you know, if you want to hover over it, it's trying to do too much. So just play with it. I mean, these animations are a lot of fun. Uh, whether you pick a basic one and add more to it, like hover effects or just a really cool one that's already interesting from the beginning, um, they're just great animations. Um, so yeah, so we had that on hover um, and then we have on click. So I'll do, I'll hit command shift E and I'll do on click. So when I click on the image, it animates and let's pick a different animation. Let's do, um, let's do, uh, we'll do rotate in and then we can do so we did on hover on click on scroll we did that we did the on scroll fade in fade out or we did on scroll and if you want it to fade in like I'll go to this one here at the bottom and let's say we set it to uh, on scroll fade in we can set the fade in speed let's say I want it to fade in 3000 seconds 
and we're going to let's do foolish in um, let's do that command shift E scroll down let's see yeah there we go so it, it kind of comes in like that um, let me try a different one here uh, we'll do the ta-da and just so I can show you the fade in yeah see it fades in there very cool looks good so again the magic I, I think I've already hashed that out the magic dot CSS has a lot of kind of interesting animation so just play with the fade in if you think it needs fade in or um, see if the fade in works for those particular animations uh, and we can fade out we can fade in and out so I'll do fade in three seconds fade out three seconds and then I'll do fade in out so I'll hit command shift E it fades in three seconds and then it fades out very nice and then we'll do the last one here uh, fade repeat so I'll hit command shift E fades in and I can go back up and, we, and it just repeats the fade in and the animation and again you can repeat animation here like if you want the user to scroll if the user, user scrolls up and then they scroll down you can repeat the um, the animation you know either fading or the animation effect so um, I'll do this and then I'll just say on scroll so I'll hit command shift D I scroll down it does ta-da if I go back up I go back down it does it again that's the repeat animation option so you can see it's pretty unlimited what you can do with this widget. Um, I know I've hashed out a few points, but basically like you can do a lot with this widget um, and just play around with the options and um, you know, the magic.css, you might find that you don't need to do more to it just because it's so, uh, some of the animations are so involved. So, um, and you know, they're like flipping down and coming in and out and doing just a bunch of really interesting things. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully that was all clear. Um, I tried to kind of condense all this information into this video. Um, and if, you know, if you need help with the widget or if you have any feedback or comments, um, I have a quick user guide as well in the widget when you download it. Um, and yeah, and you can email me and things like that, um, when using this widget, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just an awesome widget to add more interest and, uh, make your website more dynamic and really add a lot of um, yeah interest and make your site really attractive for users that are going to it if that's the word that I was looking for but like really um, yeah just interesting for your users and for your uh, styling and your website uh, so yeah I was really happy to make this widget um, I think it's cool that you can there's so many animations to choose from um, and yeah, again, if you if you'd like to check out the widget or you know purchase it, uh, just go to museforyoushop.com and click on shop now, and it's right here. The animator 130, 139 animation effects. You can preview it. You can preview the example site, and there's going to be this video in there as well. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching, um, and there'll be many more videos to come. I, I have like so many videos that I've got to make. I've been writing them down um, and and yeah, I just have tons of videos to make. And uh, there's another widget coming out very soon that I'm really excited about um, that should be out very soon. Um, there'll be a video on that. And I'm definitely uh, planning on doing a Google Hangout this Sunday uh, so that you can ask me any questions and you know about anything you know related to Adobe Muse and web design. And um, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun making these videos and these widgets. Uh, check out my Patreon page and uh, check out museforyoushop.com. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.